Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing me for the first time, my name is Sinzak and in this channel is all about spiritual tips, natural remedies and rituals. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing you a very strong powerful rituals on how you can make somebody who has stolen from you to return it with immediate effect. Believe you me, if you can watch this video from the beginning to the end, I'm waiting for your testimony. Hi everyone, if you are seeing me for the first time, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that whenever you upload a new video of this nature, you'll get notified. And to all my subscribers, I love you guys. You guys are my darling. I say may God grant you all your heart desires. I greet you all according to your time. By the time you are seeing this video, I greet you all. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time you are seeing this video. What I'm about sharing with you now is a very strong, powerful ritual that can help you to recover all your lost. That is, if somebody has stolen from you, or maybe somebody stole what belongs to you, or you don't know the person, or rather you know the person, and the person has refused to return your stolen items or your stolen properties, this video is for you. Or are you somebody who somebody has stolen from you, or maybe you don't know them, but you really want them to return your, your, your stolen property, or you want the person to return it, now this video is for you now this is going to be a quick one i'm not here to waste your time this is going to be a quick one for you to do this you need coconut coconut shell is what you need this is what i mean by coconut shell this is what you remove from coconut this is coconut shell for you to do this ritual you need coconut shell to do this now if somebody has stolen from you or somebody stole from your shop or somebody stole something from your house and maybe you don't know who they are and you want them to return your stolen property i want you to watch this video very very carefully so that you don't miss any of the steps of what i'm about sharing with you right now in this video now what you need is this if somebody has stolen from you or from your shop you need this coconut shell get this coconut shell at least uh, like four pieces of this coconut shell like this four pieces or any any amount of the ones you can gather I'm sorry this one is old one i'm just using it for spiritual means but today i want to share because i believe some of us here maybe are passing through that and this is my only two way of helping the world and the only two way of supporting me in helping the world is by you sharing this video and by you if you're in search to try this and believe in me i'm waiting for a testimony now let's get started once you have this already once you have this coconut shell ready go to the spots be it in your shop, if it's in your house, be it anywhere, the spot at which the deed was done or the spot at which they came and stole your property, get anything from that place, be it waterproof or the ground, I mean, be it waterproof, be it anything, be it sand, you get anything from that place. Then once you have all those things ready, come to your house or anywhere you know that this is safe for you to do. If you come, draw a line, draw a circle on the ground. This must be done on the ground, please. When you draw a circle on the ground, carry this coconut shell already, place it inside the, uh, inside the circle you have drawn already. Then you need pepper. You need one pepper. If you know the name of the person who stole from you, just write his name. Let me assume the name of the person is, let me assume Mark. Write the name of the person on in a paper like this. Wrap it over this pepper. Wrap it over the pepper like this. Once you wrap it over this pepper, Drop it inside the coconut shell that you have dropped on the ground already. Drop it at the center like this. Now what you need again is that you need a broomstick. You need seven broomsticks for this ritual. Once you have your seven broomsticks ready, place the seven broomsticks over this, uh, this uh, coconut shell that you have already. Place the seven stick of uh, broom in it. Once you have placed it on it, get kerosene. Once you have kerosene, then you need another paper. Once you have another paper, that is if you know the name of the person that stole from you. But when you don't know the name of the person that stole from you, write anybody, be it male or female. That is how you write it when you don't know the names of those who stole from you. But if you know the names of those who stole from you, what you just need to do is just to write the name of the person in the paper and wrap it on this paper like this. Once you wrap it, put it inside this coconut shell. Then you write the name of the person in another seven different paper like this. Maybe you tore a paper like this. You toil it into seven pieces. Write the names of the person. Write the names of the people if you know their names. But if you don't know their name, write it. Anybody, be it male or female. That is what you write. That is when you don't know the name of those who stole from you. Once you write it already like this, then this coconut shell already that you have placed in that circle that you have drawn in the ground, once you have placed it on it, pour it kerosene. Once you pour it kerosene, put fire on it. Once the fire is burning, 
carry one paper, the ones you've written, the names of those or the names of the person who stole from you already. Carry one and put it inside this fire. As you're putting it inside the fire, say, let heat go over your body, wherever the person is. May he never feel comfortable. Place it. After doing that one, as the fire is burning, place the second pepper on it. This is how you continue doing it till you place the seven pepper inside this coconut shell while it's burning. Allow this coconut shell to burn till ashes. Once it has burned to ashes, what you do is this. Use, look for a used broom. Once you have a used broom ready, use that used broom and sweep pack the ashes of this coconut shell already. Once you have packed the ashes of this coconut shell, get small from the ashes, put it at the back of your hand, speak over it. After speaking over it, blow it on the air. Then the remaining ashes you have already, which is already on the ground, go to the particular place that the property was stolen or the particular place that the item was stolen. Go there, take small pieces, take small quantity from the, from the, from the ashes of those things you've burnt already. Go in that shop and place it there. Allow it the next morning you come, you use a used broom, already used broom, sweep it off. Try this, do this for at least three days. On the third day, you are, you keep it there. On the third day, you come, you sweep it off. Allow it to be like this. And after doing this, please, don't have sex for at least three days after doing this, please. If you can do this, after doing this recipe, you don't have sex for at least three days. Believe you me, if you can do this, whosoever that stole with you stole from you will never have rest of mind. They never, the person will never be himself. The person will be suffering from one thing or the other until return your property. Some will come and beg you. Some will come and return your property. Some will come and surrender themselves to you. Believe you me, after doing this, I'm waiting for your testimony. Don't just watch this video and skip it. I want you to practice this. That is if anybody has stolen from you. And if nobody has ever stolen from you, I pray that nobody will ever steal anything that belongs to you. That is all for today's video. And please don't forget to share subscribe and turn on the notification bell and if there is anything that i just said that you don't understand i urge you to rewatch the video so that you get every steps of what i just told you now this was like magic so that you get every step you don't miss any step of it that's all for today's video i love you all and i say may god grant you all your heart desires and may your property may never be stolen may your property never be stolen may anything that belongs to that is so dear for you never be stolen by any man that's all for today's video i love you all and i say may god bless you thank you all